Am I the asshole? Because I told my parents to choose between living in my garage or a nursing home. I don't drive and live in my forever house with my dogs. My kids are grown up and I'm a widow. I converted my garage into a legal guest house with everything a person needs for when the kids visit. Independent washroom, kitchen, everything. My parents have recently asked me if they can move in with me. I agreed and talked to my kids to let them know that if they came for a visit the garage was taken so they would have to stay in the house. My parents showed up on the appointed day and the kids showed up with their families to help get them moved in. And they actually had already arranged a hotel for one family so we would not be crowded. My parents were confused as to why we were moving their stuff into the garage. I told them that was where they were staying. They said that they thought they could move into my house since I have five bedrooms. I explained that I actually have two bedrooms since one room is my office where I see clients, one is my private office, and one is my hobby room. The spare bedroom is mostly for my mutts. They said that they wanted to live in the house not out in the garage like Fonzie. I said it was a take it or leave it situation. If they didn't want the garage they could move into a nursing home or something. They are upset that they are living rent free in a private guest house that is fully up to code. Not the asshole. If it's a converted guest house that's completely up to code I don't see a reason that they would want to go into the house as everything you have in the house you have in the guest house too. My friend recently turned her shed into a beautiful guest house, kitchen appliances, private bathroom the works, her parents are currently living there and they don't have a problem with it. They like the privacy and they like being close to their child. Not the asshole. This is not the garage. This is a converted living space. A free converted living space. And Fonzie didn't live in the garage. He lived in an apartment above the garage. Wow, your parents are spoiled. A rent-free, up-to-code apartment T sounds pretty sweet. If it isn't good enough for them, then they can make other arrangements. But if you let them into your main house it will become their house. And you won't be able to get away from them. Not the asshole. They wanted main house for you to be their cook, maid and carer. In the guest house they have to fend for themselves. Weird that the topic never came up before they moved in. Tell them it's my roof and you'll do as I say JK. But honestly, a rent-free place of their own where they're not in your way and you're not in theirs seems like the best deal for everyone. Obviously there will be times when they visit you in the main house, but I think you're being fair. Not the asshole. Info you didn't bother communicating any of this beforehand? Stop calling it the garage. They hear that word and it sounds like a nasty space. Start calling it the guest house. It's all in how you're selling it. Well, I would actually prefer the garage to have a little more autonomy. Reminds me of something a friend went through. His wife's parents went bankrupt while spenders and got thrown out of their rented apartment. He offered to buy a condo for them to live in. He found a nice one in a good area they knew and took them there, telling them he was ready to close on it. They told him they didn't like it and wanted something bigger and nicer. So he told them to buy their effing condo themselves. He got divorced the next year. Why would they not know this before they showed up with their stuff? E.S.H. Not the asshole. I'd be totally fine with that. Rent free? Sign me up. I'll adopt you and everything. Sounds like you didn't explain it fully to them. Not the asshole. You might not have made it totally clear that they would be in the guest house, not moving in with you. Maybe make it clear that you want them to maintain their independence and the guest house is the best way for that. Not the asshole at all. Frankly, if I were your parents, I would prefer the free, up to code, private apartment that comes with their own kitchen plus, there wouldn't be the worry of interrupting your work. Not sure why they can't just be appreciative of the opportunity you've offered to them. Sorry you're dealing with this headache. ESH for not having a convo about living arrangements until the day they moved in. 
Situations like this come up all the time in Am I the Asshole? Don't make big life decisions with other people without talking about it marriage, kids, roommates, etc. NTA for offering the garage. Stick to your plan. Do not let them bully you. You will lose your autonomy in your own home once they decide to take over. Not the asshole. If I was old enough to need to live with my kids, I'd much rather have my own separate area. You're the asshole, immensely. Such disrespectful behavior for your parents, pathetic. You're the asshole a hobby room? Why isn't that in the garage? You're the asshole. Or maybe it's western culture to prioritize dogs over your fucking parents. Disrisp. You're the asshole. American Canadian western culture here in a nutshell. Sad. Go on and downvote me. Not the asshole. Something not considered but I'm assuming that the garage apartment, their bathroom, laundry, kitchen, and other living space they would use is all on one level so they don't have to deal with stairs. When you get older this is huge. If they were living in the house they'd be navigating the stairs several times a day, and for the elderly that's just dangerous. Don't old people think Fonzie is cool? Not the asshole. Rent free and a sense of autonomy? Perhaps your mom can do some things to make it more home-like. This is a good time to use an expression only used by old farts like me don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Not the asshole. If they are saying your generous offer isn't acceptable now, don't let them move into your main home or they will likely find a lot they want changed in it too. Not the asshole their accommodations are up to code and this arrangement works for you. They are free to seek other arrangements. Wow the comments show what kind of attitude y'all have towards your parents, OP included. In my culture and community there's no way you wouldn't be the asshole because we treat our parents with more respect. Up to code or not. I would never treat my parents like this. You're the asshole imagine even thinking about rent free for parents. Sheesh, my parents practically paid for everything for me till age 30. I'll be damned if I don't take care of them in their old age. You're the asshole. Very weird to have that much space and not let them live in the house. You're the asshole. Spare bedroom for your mutts, but not for your family. What is wrong with you? And what is wrong with the comment section? I don't understand this culture of abandoning parents when they need you the most. It is my house is a legal argument not a moral one. It has no place here. You're the asshole what the hell is wrong with you? Why would you put them in the garage, you live in a five bedroom house? Where are they bad parents do you even like them? Why wouldn't you tell them beforehand like this is a huge stick thing to do? You live in a five bedroom household and you can't give them one? I'd rather take the nursing home and live with you. You sound like a horrible daughter. Yeah it's rent free but it's not even part of the house. Your parents are obviously elderly I don't get how you could treat them like that. Why do you think they have to live with you? Esh for not clarifying all this information before moving. Bet they thought you'd wait on them take care of them.